This is Yaoundé, a vibrant, growing city in Cameroon, undergoing rapid urbanization, which has incredible benefits, but also brings with it challenges, in particular, a rise in non-communicable diseases. One generation ago, most of the diseases you'd find in hospitals would have been things like malaria, typhoid, or intestinal tract infections. Within this context of uncontrolled urbanization, people tend to be exposed to unhealthy diets, pollution, smoking, they, they become less physically active. All these factors would expose these people significantly to develop cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, cancers in their lives. GDAR is a research partnership. It's funded by the NIHR. We focus on the societal determinants of non-communicable diseases, factors in the environment and in policy that impact on what people eat and how physically active they are. We also focus on designing and evaluating interventions to address those environmental determinants and address long-term health. For me, I don't usually go uh... Uh, and eat fast food. When uh, my friend decides to go and eat uh, fast food, I go with them. Uh, so many of them contain fat and it's not good for, uh, for our health. The trend of the increasing non clinical disease epidemic is a very worrying one in terms of affordability. We know of the context of many countries in Africa like Cameroon is that the health system is already overburdened because we actually want to prevent that burden getting to the health system. What we have been doing with adolescents in schools in Yaoundé, we are adopting what is called the citizen science approach. The individuals in the community themselves collaborate or cooperate with the researchers in terms of collecting information, analyzing this information, and making proposals. We use an app that essentially allows these young people on their phones so they capture their environment around their home, around their schools, and whether they see that as something that enables healthy behaviors or is a barrier to healthy behavior. By analyzing their own data, the aim is to increase their agency to effect change and to engage with implementers of policy, planning initiatives. Really those tools give them the self-efficacy beyond their individual health into the wider population. For these students, they actually feel ownership. They are the ones who would collect this data, analyze this data, interpret, and design the interventions. The community actually feels ownership. They know best what would work within their context. We always think about NCDs within the context of how to diagnose, how to screen, how to treat. But moving from that to thinking about prevention being everybody's business is a huge disruption. hope that these interventions would be more sustainable in time because it belongs to the community in which they supply. We don't have the time to all learn from scratch every time. So it's really important that what is being learned and what has been understood in Cameroon, in Yaoundé, we share um, experiences with another city who, that is similar in those contexts.